hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux on virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that head to your browser and then search for virtualbox now you can see the first page over here heading to virtualbox.org click on it and by the left click on downloads now you can see VirtualBox for Windows Host, Mac OS, Linux and other operating systems. So let's click on Windows Host and it should start downloading. While VirtualBox is downloading, we also have to download Kali Linux image file as well. So let's create a new tab and then head to Kali.org. Okay, now click on the download button on the screen right here. And you can see Kali Linux installer images and virtual machines images. Now, there are two ways we can install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. Either we are using the installer images or we are using the virtual machines images. Now, if you want to install everything from scratch, customize it and set everything according to your preference, then you should go with the installer image. But if you just want to get it up and running as fast as possible, then you can go with the virtual machines image. But in this video, we are going to be covering both installation methods. So you can either go with the installer images or the virtual machines. So first, let's install with the virtual machines. So click on virtual machines and it should take you down here. And you can see pre-built virtual machines. So you just download and then run it immediately without going through any prompt to install. Now we have to download Kali Linux image for VirtualBox. So click on VirtualBox and it should start downloading. The file size is about 3 GB, so make sure to download. I already have this file downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. Now let's close our browser. And then open our download folder so here we go this is virtualbox and this is kali linux first we have to install virtualbox so let's double click on it now let's proceed with the prompt to install next next and then yes to install Now click on finish. So we now have VirtualBox installed. Next, let's head back to our download folder and then extract Kali Linux image file we downloaded. So let's right click and then extract with Unira or any other file extractor you use. And we are done extracting. Now let's open our extracted folder and you can see another folder inside Kali Linux VirtualBox. Open it. Now you can see two files. This is the main disk image file with 14 gigabytes. And this over here is just to add it to VirtualBox. So let's double click on this file with three kilobytes, which is a VirtualBox machine definition file. So let's open it. And it should add Kali Linux to our VirtualBox automatically by itself. Okay, so here we go. You can see Kali Linux 2023.3 VirtualBox AMD64. Now we can make few changes to the settings over here. So let's go to settings. And then go to system. Now this is your base memory, which is your RAM. You can increase or decrease whenever you want. Now I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on my PC, so I'm going to give it about 4 gigabytes. Now you should not allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host PC. Same thing with the processor, I'm going to give it 3 cores since I can run up to 8. Go to display and increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Also enable 3D acceleration. And then click on OK. Now we can click on start. And it should load into our Kali Linux machine without doing anything literally. Okay, so you can see we are now up. You don't have to install anything. You just have to log in directly. Now the default username is Kali and that's the same thing with the password. You can change that later on if you choose to. So basically, this is how to install Kali Linux using the virtual machines image. Now you can do whatever you want to do, customize your machine and whatever at all. Now we're going to proceed with the second method, which is using the installer image. Shut down my machine.
and then head back to our browser head back to kali.org this time we're going to click on the installer image instead of virtual machines so let's click on installer image now download the 64 bit installer image for kali linux over here you can see the complete offline installation with customization so click on it and it should start downloading size is about 4 gigabytes 3.9 which shouldn't take too long to download but then after downloading it we can close our browser i already have it downloaded so i'm going to close my browser now and i open my download folder so you can see this is kali linux installer which we just downloaded now we can delete every other thing we don't need for now so i'm just going to delete virtualbox and the zip file so this is kali linux image file the installer image which we downloaded and we are going to create the machine and apply customizations by ourselves. now let's open virtualbox and then create a new virtual machine by clicking on new up here let's call this machine kali linux 23.3 set the type to linux and then set the version to linux 2.6 3x 4x 5x you could also use debian 64 bit which is totally fine now click on next and then increase the base memory which is your ram to whatever you want the same principle applies to this you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine the same thing with the processor next create a virtual hard disk now now this is where you allocate how much storage you want to give to your virtual machine in this case, I'm going to give it about 54 gigabytes, which should be more than enough to run Kali Linux. But anything above 20 gigabytes should be okay, actually. Now let's click on next and then finish. Now we have to make few changes to our machine by clicking on settings up here. And then go to system. This is your RAM, which you can change, switch up whenever you want. Same with the processor. Now go to display and increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Also enable 3D acceleration. And now go to storage. You can see controller IDE over here. Under controller IDE, you can see an empty disk. Click on it. And by the right, click on the disk icon again. Click on choose a disk file. And then locate your download folder. Select Kali Linux installer, which we downloaded, which is about 4 gigabytes. Open. And then OK. Now we can click on Start to initialize the installation. So let's click on Start. Now we are going with Graphical Install. So just hit Enter. Okay, first thing we have to do is select a language for the installation. I'm going with English. Continue. Set your country, territory, or zone. Continue. Set your keyboard format continue okay for the host name we're going to leave it as Kali continue domain name leave it empty continue full name for this user now enter your full name which we're going to be using to access our machine next enter a username which we're going to use to log in and you would also need to enter a password continue now select your time zone and then continue okay so this is where we partition the disk we want to install kali linux now we are going with guided which is going to use the entire disk which we are located earlier about 50 gigabytes now let's continue with guided and then you can see 58.5 gigabyte which we are located on virtual box earlier now let's click on continue all files in one partition yes let's continue and then you can see finish partitioning and write changes to disk click on continue write changes to disk yes continue and it should start partitioning our disk and then installing the base system this should take a while okay so this is where you select the desktop environment you want to use now by default it is set to xface which is actually a great desktop environment for kali linux but you could either go with gnome or kde plasma 
but i'm just okay with x face so i'm just gonna go with it and then continue and then it should start the main installation this should take about 30 minutes and we are finally done with the installation now select yes to install grub bootloader and then continue select your drive over here continue and it should take about a minute to install now click on continue to reboot and we are done with the installation So we just have to log into our machine with our username and password. So basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on VirtualBox using the installer image. You could either go with method 1 using the virtual image or method 2 using the installer image, whichever you prefer. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.